because of his jewelry, of his sculpture, everything came together. Uh, also, Valerie Goodman. <laughs> the galleries that put this yes, thing it's together. A, it's really an um, uh, amazing gift to, to be able to bring this, uh, to have this project. Uh, we didn't know at all what we were going to do or what the result would be. Uh, I represent Jack uh, for now eight years and uh, uh, started, Jack started doing jewelry and sculptures a couple of years ago and uh, we wanted to photograph them and then uh, I met Lara and through Lara I um, met the photographer Alex Karolkovas and everybody else. <laughs> Step by step, we went. We didn't know where we were going, and uh, <laughs> and, uh, <laughs> and, uh, and, uh, and this guy, so, and this guy. So, so now, here it is. Every, the final result you see everywhere, and uh, the photos, the jewelry tonight and for months are for sale, and uh, the sale is going to benefit benefit. Deandra's organization, Salif Keita's foundation, yeah. and Mary Malek's uh, foundation for STEM for Education. And today they're launching an launching amazing program that she will talk to you about. And we're trying to raise as much money as we can. So you can buy or you can just contribute directly. <laughs> sole mission is being a humanitarian so I have an organization called Stand for Education that empowers um, children through education and arts. Um, our focus is empowering girls because girls in places like where I come from, South Sudan, they don't have a voice, privileges. They don't have a space to share or to even have any rights, basic human rights. <coughs> So that's um, what I do. Since I got discovered as a model, actor, and DJ, I started to use my platform to make a difference and versus letting my platform use me. So I started the nonprofit to help children back home, girls back home, because their story was once my story. And the power of storytelling and connecting <coughs> human to human, heart to heart, is so important and so vital, especially right now. No matter what we do, no matter what fields we work on. So with that said, today I am launching our No Pad, No School campaign to keep girls in school. Because for me, and for my country where I come from and many developing countries, when girls menstruate, they don't have access to the basic needs of menstrual hygiene products. So therefore, No Pad, No School is a layering product that will cross cut major issues that we're facing in our country besides education to bring education on women health, menstrual products, and providing girls in refugee camps, underprivileged girls with products and not just in um, developing countries, but also in America, public schools, um, homeless shelters, um, prisons. Women health products should be accessible for free like toilet paper. And when a woman is in a place like South Sudan and in a refugee camp, she don't have that access. But guess what, they still go to school, they still make it happen, and they still wanna be heard. 
And that is so hard for them when they have those three or four or seven days of menstruation and they don't have the products to guide them to continue going to school. Girls are dropping out of school. So I realized through what we have created would stand for education, the girls in our schools are dropping out of school every year because they get their periods. So how can we keep girls and empower women if we don't give them the basic needs? And one of the basic needs is already education. Come on top of it, the basic need of any experience that any woman have in life. Our period it's, is our life. If your mother didn't have her period, none of us will be here. <laughs> so <laughs> we have to provide girls in crisis areas with such things. And so we launched our campaign today, No Pad, No School. And I go to South Sudan every year to provide girls with their needs, to find out from the communities what, what they want and what we can help them with, and give them th that exact help. So we provide them with educational needs, we build schools, and we provide them with menstrual health products. So this campaign, you guys are the first to see it. And thank you, Valerie, wherever you are, you were the first to donate. <laughs> So to, tonight, I encourage you all to donate and help a girl continue her education. It costs as little as $25 to give her menstrual health kits that last her one to three years. And those products are sustainable and reusable. And this is a way for us to continue a lasting change with these girls. There's more information. You can go to one of, our, of these iPads to find out more information and also donate directly on the GoFundMe or you can donate directly on our website or you can buy these amazing jewelry or the photos. And I'm just so grateful to be able to work with artists who believe in making a difference and creating beautiful work that also make a change. So thank you, Jacqueline. Thank you, Valerie, Laura.